The Minnesota dance community is stacked, certainly with talent, and for the next two weekends, audiences can experience a full slate of genres in one show. So each weekend features a new roster of artists, and Shane Wells is at the Cole Center with a sneak peek this morning. The world of dance in the Twin Cities is so rich. And we are celebrating that at the Cole Center this weekend and next with the Fall Forward Festival. And this is just going to be one of the performances. Darius Strong here of Strong Movement. We'll talk to him in a minute. But first, let's talk to the co-director of the Cole Center, Jesse Bett. All right, this, this festival speaks to me. As a former <laughs> dancer. I just love it all. Um, but tell us a little bit about how this festival works and uh, who it's for. Yes, so this is its second season. So this is our second Fall Forward Festival. And this is a celebration of dance, of local dancers and their companies and the wide variety of diversity we have in this community and getting to highlight what they do um, and that's also for the audiences to see something new come come to a performance where they love one certain dance company and leave loving two other dance companies so you'll see three companies each weekend so such a great variety of dance and what's on tap this weekend so this weekend you're gonna see Darius Strong's company strong movement a blend of hip-hop West African modern dance you're also going to see Yuki Takudo who's a ballet dancer and she's collaborating with a pianist to do a performance about uh, snow ballerinas so very storytelling and then you're gonna see Mexico Azteca beautiful company celebrating Mexican dance and their costumes are gorgeous they'll have face makeup and they're gonna do a Dia de los Muertes uh, piece which is very timely to Halloween coming up so just a really good celebration of what this local community is all about. We got to see you on stage a little bit earlier. Mm. Darius Strong, Strong Movement. Yeah. You were telling a story up there. Yeah. What story were you telling? Well, um, this is a piece uh, by a spoken word art by an artist by the name of Obi West, based out in Texas. Uh, and it's called Love is a Myth. And it's his idea about um, the perfect uh, culmination of connections that create love. Um, so I'm kind of taking his words and putting my own spin on it. Once again, I love text and finding ways that I can really mirror that with my body um, to give that different perspective. Because that's what dance is, that's what art is. It's a conversation and it's perspective. And we have many different perspectives in the world. So how do we, yeah. you know, find ways to, to, you know, talk about that, you know, discuss that. So. Speaking of different perspectives for the yeah. show, yes. for you being able to collaborate or at least get to be a part of the show with lots of different types of dancers and groups. Yeah. That probably fills your bucket. Super, super excited for it. Because, <laughs> yeah, once again, I think this program is dope because we get to bring the communities together. You know, people who might not have come to a strong open show get to kind of experience this. And same thing vice versa for other uh, companies as well in my community of, of viewers. So the fact that we're bringing people together in our communities to see art, and we have a lot of dance in the cities, uh, a lot of great things happening. So um, I think just a platform to, to showcase that and then once again bring people together. That's why we do this. So. We're bringing people together. And yeah. they're doing it this weekend and oh, next yeah. weekend at the Cole Center. So. And if you want to learn more, get tickets and check out the times, who's all going to be performing, you can head to thecolescenter.org. Back to you.